Well, a couple of years ago, I teamed up with a very dear friend of mine by the name of Jerry Donahue. Now, all you guitar fanatics out there will know the name Jerry Donahue because he is known as the string bending king of the planet. And he really is fantastic. Anyway, Jerry and I uh, worked a whole year together on a brand new album, all self penned songs. But you'll be hearing more of our adventures in a little interview that I did with him at the Caird Hall in Dundee. Meantime, here is one of our very first videos that we ever recorded together. It's The Streets of Loneliness. Sitting right next to me now then is my very dear friend and renowned guitarist, Jerry Donahue. It's great to see you, Jerry. Good to see you. Um, really would good you to like... see you, Jerry. Oh, brilliant. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, I can spend for ages telling everyone your background, but very quickly you tell us a little bit about your past. Well, uh, I'm the guitarist in, in this, uh, you know, before we started working together on, on the album. Um, well, from the very beginning, I've, I've been playing guitar in, in pubs and uh, and clubs and so on and so forth. My first real break was was uh, when Sandy Denny asked me to join Fotheringay. She, of course, was in Fairport Convention before that, and uh, so through through her and through Fotheringay, I also got to play in Fairport Convention um, a couple of years after that, and uh, that that lasted longer. I was with them for about four years. And then Joan Armour Trading's band. I worked with Jerry Rafferty. Did four albums with him. I did a Chris Rea album. Toured with him for about a year. And um, 
One of the great highlights of my career was working with Roy Orbison. That was really wow. special. <laughs> and um, but I was in the Yardbirds for a year or two in 2005. That was that was great fun. And um, by default, I actually ended up on a Beach Boys album. Oh wow! Because I did a I did a Mike Love album that was never released. I did it sort of in the end of the 70s. And um, what they actually did was uh, they they did another kind of compilation, you know, best best of version. But they thought to make it a bit different, they would take a track from each of their solo efforts. So um, they took one that was called Brian's Back, um, which I got a guitar, a acoustic guitar solo on. Mm -hmm. it was it was pretty good. So that's on a Beach Boys album called uh, Endless Harmony. So Fantastic. I got, you know, I feel very you've done privileged. You've lots and lots, and lots of I've things. Lots and lots. And I'm sure you've missed out a lot of things there, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, yeah, there's, there's, there's lots more too, you know, but... Um, You're actually known the, the, the king, the, 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 the king, what's it, king bending it's, string? It's Danny it? Gatton, who's like, uh, well, he's sadly no longer with us, but he was a brilliant, brilliant guitar player. And he uh, proclaimed me in a, in a guitar guitar magazine, guitar wor um, guitar player magazine in the states, called me the um, the string bending, bending king, king of, of the, the planet. planet. That's, That's right. <laughs> I think I've got that all mixed Which up. Which is like <laughs> praise from Caesar. It's unbelievable. But uh, but it's very very true, Jerry. Mm, and uh, as the, as Jerry mentioned a second ago, we have recorded a new album, mm -hmm. and it's all self penned songs except for the one that we've just finished filming. So let's see us in action with the Streets of Loneliness album. And this is the song, The Wild Mountain Time. See you later. Bye-bye.
Well, that's all we have time for, everyone. Hope to see you again, same time, same place next week. Um, I'm still keeping it country. From me, Janie Kirk, bye-bye. The Caird Hall, Dundee, in conjunction with The Janie Kirk Show. Dawson's Amusements, Shorehead Leaven, proudly sponsor The Janie Kirk Show.